What's up guys, thanks for tuning into this week's vlog. Uh, this is Andrew Ng with The Fly Dudes. I wanted to give a quick thank you for 500 subscribers on YouTube. Um, I feel like that's a pretty big milestone and I'm excited and I'm stoked that there's so many people that have enjoyed the video so far and that are wanting to get involved with this and watch and learn just like I am. I've learned so much from all these people that I've been fishing with that know so much more about fly fishing than I do. Um, it's just fun to learn and grow and take you guys along for the ride. It's been super fun so far and I can't wait for it to keep on going. So thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the episode. Welcome to the Fly Deeds Vlog. Um, it's episode three, I believe. Out here with uh, my boy Casey from Hush Outdoors. I'm on episode three of the Fly Deep Vlog. Yeah, dude. It's big time now. One day, dude, we're gonna look back and be like, when you're at like 150, 200, we're gonna be like, remember vlog three? Remember vlog three? When that's, I had that's like vlog so far. 400 subscribers. Oh, for sure. Uh, Casey just got a good fish. Um, and I decided I should probably shoot an intro to our little video we got going on. So, yeah, we're out here. Uh, location X. If you recognize it, it's because you fish here, so don't get mad at me. Um, basically, what we're doing is we're fishing heavy jig flies, like some little balanced Cisco that I have tied up, and we're fishing like 25 foot leaders, and essentially just dirty fly fish jigging. We're fishing long leaders, you can't even see Casey's fly line because he's got so much leader on there, but that's fine because it's on a fly rod, so it counts, right? Yeah. We're fly Woo! So stay tuned. We'll hopefully get into some more big fish. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a very small nozzle. Very small stream of urine. Oh, hey, Casey. Hey, what's up? Andrew was kind enough to stop fishing for two minutes to take me to shore so I could eat. Yeah, less than ideal, but what are you going to do? Kind of high maintenance, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, yeah. for real, though, it's like I'm babysitting. <laughs> it's like I'm playing cards with my brother's kids. <laughs> you want me to push this off or are you going to be a smart Alex? Uh, both. Okay. There he is. I got it. You're good. I, I can roll us out of this. We have two, thi two <laughs> thin-shaped gentlemen like me and Andrew. <laughs> These boats do very well. These Eurofit boats are just ideal for us. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. We are uh, sitting on a lake, and it's January fourth or third. Third. So what we're going to be using is this fly here. What would you call this little? So that is a. Uh... First of all, it's top secret. Top secret. So, so should I not show that? No, you can show it. I don't, I don't care. I always show flies, and people always say you can't show what we're using. We're using that. Uh, yeah. So it's a balanced Cisco pattern is what what it technically is tied to represent. So all these Cisco at this particular lake, uh, they come in late or early January, late December to spawn, and all these big cutthroat and lake trout move out of the deep water to eat them, typically this time of year. So we're out here on the fly craft trying to get into some big lake trout and cutthroat. And, Should be uh, fun. Yeah. This boat's rad. I told Andrew I need one of these. It's a, what they call fly craft. It's an inflatable two-man fishing pontoon. Crazy. Well, I guess, what do you call it? Yeah, it's a... Uh, but you've taken it down some pretty sketchy oh my rivers. Gosh. I took it down the Green River in uh, Utah, which is technically, I think it's like a class four. Or parts of it are class four or class five. It can be kind of sketchy, but if you know how to row, you can handle it. But I think it's rated up to class two rapids, I believe, for just your average novice rower. Which would be me. Yeah, most most people. Unless you like rowed professionally for yeah. a while of guiding, it's but kind, most kind of most sketchy. places that I fish, like Henry's Fork. Oh, easy. Places easy around town, right? Yeah, I floated that on my bachelor party. Not in the best state of mind, so <laughs> that uh, is still safe. We're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, it's a big lake trout, and it came off. He just came off, dude. That was so big. Dang! Just when I got the camera. Gosh, out. dang it! Want me to teach you how to set a hook? Oh, dude, I strip set into him so hard. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Well, oh. it, takes, it takes a couple to get off to make those ones that you get to the boat worth it, you know? Oh, that was some deep, deep, like, internal, like, but I want all of them to the boat, bro. Case got another good fish. Guys, fish number two. Fish number two. It's only been about, I don't know what, like... 15 minutes? 15 minutes? It's a little smaller. It's a smaller fish, but still. Gorgeous. The Bell Cisco. Freshen on them. Oh shit. 
Oh, that's true. Just blew that net job. I have my lens cap in my hand, so I have a bit yeah. of an excuse. We'll give you, we'll give you that. Now we'll, now we'll get him. You. Yep. There we go. Pretty Look at that fish, thing. Sure, man. Oh, just gorgeous. gorgeous. Just a freaking stud of a fish. I get that. Well, buddy, thank you, sir. Sweet. Just cruising. Number man. two. I still have yet to catch a fish. I did just miss a fish because of Casey, though. So that kind of counts. Trying to teach Andrew how to fly fish. I know. Guys. It's it's honestly kind of stressful. Kind of a it's like you go fishing with an internet celebrity. Pretty long uh, learning curve for Andrew. Yeah, I guess. exactly. And you think you know, but then he just shows you up, and yeah. it's just it makes I, me feel like a piece of I'm garbage. You know. I wonder who caught all those fish you take pictures. Of. <laughs> just people I'm fishing next to. Hey, can I take a picture of your fish? <laughs> can I hold it too? <laughs> hey, grab a shot of me. Your yeah, fish. exactly. That's cool, bro. It's a tank. Uh, Big buddy. Big old buddy. Look at that thing. Nice fish. Yo. I hand me the net. This stupid tiny little reel ain't gonna pop a reel. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's a lot. A sweet fish. Beauty to me. Yeah, that's a sweet fish, man. They're oh. closer, huh? Yeah, I don't know, it's weird. That's a, there you go. Look at that fish. It's a tanker. Long. Uh. We'll get a bigger one. Not big enough for Andrew to waste his time. I only catch big fish and take pictures of big fish. Sweet, man. Sweet, dude. Dope! What do you got there? You got me a fish. Ooh. Looks like a nice fish. Ooh, sweet little cutty. That's a good fish, man. Sweet. Fish. He's like 20, 21, 22 inches. Yeah, let's send them out. Go eat your some more systems there, bud. Woo! Sweet. That was sick, dude. Sweet, man. That was nice. Cool. That's rad. Let's get a lake trout now. All right. <laughs> Casey on a good fish here. Any oh, fish? dude. Big fish? Tanker. Lake trout. Or is that a cutty? Cutty. Big cutty, too. Look at that thing. Barely got him. Sick. Get that net right yeah, Where's that net? Yeah, it's right underneath me. Yeah, dude. Sick. We were just talking about going to a pond. That was a dumb idea. That was dumb. Oh, yeah, dude. Chunky. Look at that thing. Let's let this guy go. Let's get a gander at him. One last. Fish are so full. Dude, what? that fish is so full. He's ready. He's rearing. Look at that thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Send him. Dope. That's a there's a fist bump. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So sick. I was just like. I've lost my confidence in this place. Whammo! <laughs> Whammo! We were in like shallow and then we like, we're running super long jig rigs, so we're like, we might as well go and like try and get as deep, deep. as possible right on this shelf. That's where sure enough, fish are just at boom, now. right on it. So we'll we're gonna fish for we're, a little yeah, longer. We'll fish a little longer, maybe see if we can get some more. Black craft loaded up. Strapped in. Oh, my mug. Easiest boat ever to throw in the back of a car. Okay. And the mobile. Well, it was a good day. Caught four fish. Four fish to the boat. Four fish. Casey caught three of them. I caught one. I lost a big lake trout though. So I'll just reminisce on that. Um, yeah, it's kind of like the least ideal day for where we are. Super sunny, bright, no wind, no chop. So the fish were down pretty deep. We ended up fishing these jig flies that I tied that are like eighth ounce jig heads, dropping them all the way down, like 20 to 25 feet, and then just jigging them and hooked all, almost all of our fish like that. Caught a couple of stripping on a streamer though. Um, but yeah, gotta make it work. So, may not be the most pure way to do it, but I don't care. You care, Casey? I don't care. So I, I don't think Casey cares, and I don't care. I like, you, see, you know what I like though? What do you like? I like to catch fish, so however he, that. Yeah, I mean, and that is the goal. Yeah. To catch fish, so we did that. Conditions weren't ideal, but we still made it happen, so that's good. But yeah, so 
Hope you enjoyed this episode. This is uh, Casey Levere. 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 Uh, Hush Outdoors. Get Hushin'. Or is it just Hushin' on Instagram? Just or YouTube? Get Hushin' on Instagram. Hush on, uh, on YouTube. Hushin' on YouTube, right? Yep. Yeah. So, uh, to my 400 subscribers, give them a follow. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> yeah. So, stay tuned for next week. Uh, and we'll be fishing somewhere else with someone else. Because I don't want to fish with Casey ever again. <laughs> Kidding. Kidding. It was a good time. Uh, all right. Bye.